Hello, this is Eric Ruderman from Northwestern University in Chicago, coming to you from ACR Convergence 2021 for Room Now. I uh, wanted to give you some insight into some of the uh, information on psoriatic arthritis that we're seeing at this meeting. Um, and today, actually, the first day of the conference, the first full day of the conference, uh, there's a plenary session. Uh, with data from the two phase three trials of Rizinkizumab, the newest uh, IL-23 inhibitor for psoriatic arthritis. Uh, this data was actually first presented at ULAR, but this is the first time that uh, U.S. audiences will um, be seeing it in many cases. Um, two large phase three trials, a uh, total of about 1,400 patients in the two, uh, one of which was BioDMAR. Uh, what was DMARD failures, and the other had a percentage of patients who are bio DMARD failures, a bit less than 50%. Uh, and the overall conclusion was that the drug was effective um, for psoriatic arthritis. Um, as many people know, L23 inhibitors are very effective for skin disease. And um, they're, one of their claims to fame is that they're given infrequently. Rizinkizumab, uh, after an initial dose and a second loading dose in a month, is given every three months, which has uh, a lot of appeal for many patients. Um, the drug was effective um, and uh, certainly better than placebo, although the effect size was somewhat smaller than we've seen with some of, of our other drugs in the past in psoriatic arthritis, uh, perhaps because the placebo response was quite high at a bit over 30%. Um, my takeaway is that IL-23 inhibitors clearly work. This is the second drug. Uh, Guzelcomab was approved last year uh, as another IL-23 inhibitor. And I think the challenge is trying to understand where these drugs are going to fit into our algorithm for treating psoriatic arthritis. Uh, with the IL-17 inhibitors, I think most rheumatologists are quite comfortable that they are as good as a TNF inhibitor for treating joint disease and probably better for skin disease. And we actually have some comparative studies uh, that show that. We don't yet have comparative studies with the IL-23 inhibitors, so it's a little hard uh, to put them into their proper place uh, in the algorithm for psoriatic arthritis to decide are they uh, as good as or, or um, potentially better than some of the other drugs we already have. It does seem that at least for axial disease, IL-23 inhibition may not be the way to go. Um, so I think it may take some time as these drugs uh, are out in the market and as uh, Rizinkizumab presumably is approved for treating psoriatic arthritis to really try to understand uh, where they're going to fit into our paradigm. Uh, for dermatologists, they love the IL-23 inhibitors. They're uh, great drugs for treating skin disease. Um, the safety profile is excellent and they're given so infrequently. Um, whether we're going to be using them quite as much in rheumatology uh, has yet to be seen, and I think we'll need to stay tuned, uh, but it's always great to have additional options for therapy when we're treating our patients. Uh, for more information, please check out Room Now at ACR Convergence 2021.